Looking back, I think that I've always loved 18th century clothing. For me, and for a lot of people growing up, I was kind of always surrounded by little bits of the 18th century. A lot of my favorite movies growing up had characters with clothing inspired somewhere in the 18th century. Recently, I've had a very strong desire to bring some of that clothing and make it a little bit more modern, something that I would feel comfortable wearing every day. Today, I'm going to be trying my hand at making a modern 18th century skirt, complete with the sizable pockets that we seem to have forgotten about in our modern day clothing. So let's get to it. With the help of my brother's toe and mostly off screen, I measured out double the width I wanted my panels to be. These were around 40 inches, which is a bit smaller than the ones used historically would have been, but I won't be hiding a bum roll under my skirt, so I think I can get away with it. If I could go back, I would make the panels a little bit wider, but I'm still happy with how it turned out in the end. Next, I laid over my fabric to mark where I wanted the skirt to fall, which was about mid-calf. It was at this point that things started getting a little chaotic, although very cute. Okay guys, I did something a little dumb. Between the puppy cuteness and me being just a little forgetful, I got distracted enough to start cutting my fabric while it was folded, so I cut a hole in my fabric where I did not want a hole. I decided to keep going and I ended up needing to take a few inches off in length anyways, so it actually worked out fine. After cutting my panels, I sewed along each side, leaving a few inches free at the top for pockets and so that the sides would overlap when I sew in the closures later. I should probably take a moment to explain why I'm making this out of two panels of fabric instead of one. I'm basing the skirt off of a mid 18th century petticoat. Those were generally made out of two panels of fabric that were stitched together at the bottom while the tops were sewn onto a tape to tie around the waist. The pockets, which were also tied around the waist, could then be reached through the slits left at the top. I decided to leave the side seam in with the closures on both sides as a little nod to history. Once I had the side seam sewn, I threw it on my dress form and I pinned it in the center front, center back, and on both of the side seams. Then I pleated it by eye starting from the center in both the front and the back, working my way out to the sides. This results in a nice little box pleat in the center, which is a detail that I am particularly fond of. Once I had the pleats where I wanted them, I just quickly sewed them into place. The quality of this clip is terrible, and I could have explained what I did in a different way, but I kept to show you the most ridiculous way I could have found my scissors. I didn't like how the pleats turned out in the front, so I just redid those. While I was working on that though, my brother kept showing me TikToks, and I am so sorry for what I'm about to show you, but I laughed so hard and for so long, and I'm still laughing whenever I think about it. So thank you to Milk Prince One for this glorious masterpiece. Once I regained my composure and I was able to stop laughing, I started cutting out the pockets. These were just made of an old bed sheet, and I just kind of fiddled around until I figured out a pocket shape I was happy with. I cut out four of those shapes, so once they were sewn together, I would have two pockets. After my pockets were done, I started attaching the waistband. This was made of two strips of fabric, each a little larger than half my waist measurement so that they would overlap a bit at the sides. I don't know how to explain what I did here, but basically I sewed the right side of the waistband and the skirt together by machine while doing my best to follow the line I made earlier to secure the pleats. I was not entirely successful. To finish attaching the waistband, I folded it over to the inside and felled it down. By this point, I had also finished most of the raw edges, folding them over themselves and going over them with the machine. Okay, so I have just sewn some closures in on the side. I didn't get that on video, but here you can see them. Um, I wanted them to overlap a little bit just to hide this little slit. Um, but when I just had this one closure here, this other part here would droop down. So I sewed in another closure there. Um, as far as pockets go, you can see them just to the side here. These pockets are inspired by 18th century pockets, so what I did is I just cut out a little pocket bag and then I sewed these, which I will finish later, into the top of the pocket here 
and then I just sewed them into the waistband so that we those will um, take all the the weight of the things in my pocket um, and it won't cause it to droop funny or anything and so the skirt is pretty much done I'm just gonna go ahead and iron it out and iron these pleats in and then it'll be time for the grand reveal so yay <laughs> I really enjoyed making the skirt, and I have worn it constantly since. I love having room for everything I need in my pockets, and I fully plan on making another one in the very near future. I also really like the way the pleats look when they come together at the sides. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like and subscribe to see more of my videos. Bye bye